Don't worry, I totally understand. Thanks, love. Is there a problem? No, just... The doctor needs to sort out my meds and he's been called off on an emergency, so I might be stuck here for a bit. Right, well, I'll tell Moira. I'll give the auction a miss and I'll wait here with you. No, no, it's OK. Paddy's going to call in, so he might be able to run me back. Right. You OK with that? Yeah, of course. Look, look I totally support you wanting to get conversation for it. Yeah, but it's all a bit of a mess, isn't it? Exactly. Nobody wants to see anyone out of pocket. But you're stuck in the middle. I get it, Pete. Especially now Maury's been told the farm could go under. If he decides to sue. Well, Maury's been looking into it and potentially he could claim tens of thousands. Well, that kind of money. Me and Maury, we'd lose a lot. Hey, hi. Hey, we're just going to get a coffee. Do you want one? Not for me, Ty. I need to get off. I'll be back later to take you home, yeah? Yeah. Can't wait. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, where's Kerry? Uh, factory, why? Don't ask. Are you, Kyle? How are you doing? Is he okay? Well, no. I mean, he says he isn't. But you know what? One with a bellyache and Mrs. Mussolini frog marches him down the cloakroom. Looks fine to me. Yeah, he's just a bit off colour. You've got a pearly tummy, sweetheart. Oh, Kane's not even picking up. Fade's gone AWOL and Moira's out buying flipping sheep. And I've got a pub to run. Only agreed to do the school and not play Super Nanny. I don't suppose you could look after him. Oh, yeah, cos Kane's gonna love that. Well, it's an emergency. I'm sure even he can get his fat head round that. Well, you better ring him. I will, and I'll square it. You are a lifesaver, right, Kyle? You're gonna sit here with Amy, and she's gonna be your child binder. Okay? Thank you. You'll tell us what he says. Yeah, 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 of course. Well. Oh, let me do that. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. I need to embrace it. Embrace what? Embrace the agony. That's like embracing Vanessa's morning coffee breath. <laughs> no one should have to do it. Charming. <laughs> Don't. Look, we'll carry on managing your pain relief between us. You will be OK. Pete will have to do his bit as well, won't he? Well, he's definitely a good distraction, and I'm going to need one. <sighs> I cannot wait to be fit enough to work again. Mm. Oh, I am so glad my suspension's nearly up. I never imagined how much I would miss castrating kittens. Weirdo. We'll have to keep the locum, though, even though half the clients seem to be defecting to that pound and pets in Hotton. Yep, our bank balance is seriously depressing. Pete's told me that you think I should sue Moira. But how much is that going to cost them? 20, 30 grand? They'll lose the farm. So we need to think of other options. Like what? Rona, anybody else that's been squashed by hay bales or impaled on a fence would be straight in there. I will not be responsible for bankrupting butlers. I know it's horrible, but we really need a solid business. My future our future, it, it's important. Moira and Kane are practically your family, Paddy. Pete's whole life is in that farm. He will lose everything he's ever worked for. And so might we. And look at you. You're still suffering. You deserve better. It's my decision. And I'm sorry, but I won't sue. <laughs> 